In this lecture, we will cover the DMAIC approach in detail. As we know by now, DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. When is the DMAIC approach used? The DMAIC approach is used for improving any existing process. Suppose you have a process which has a problem and because of which we are getting more defects, we can then apply the DMIC to it. Let's now see an example to understand this in detail. We will take the process of a pizza delivery, for example, and suppose this is the problem. The customer is unhappy because of a late delivery. We now have to apply DMAIC to it. First, we have to define the problem. This is how. The pizza delivery is always late. Therefore, the customer is unhappy. Next step is measurement. Here, you need to look into the current available data. Suppose this is the data we get. 10% of cases, your pizza delivery takes more than 30 minutes. This is what we collect in the measurement phase. The next step is to analyze. Here, you need to identify the problem which you can improve. For example, you decided. All the far deliveries will be prioritized. With this, now you may deliver almost all the pizzas in 25 minutes or less. The next step is improvement. In the improvement stage, you will change the current process and include the improvement points based on analysis stage. The next step is control. Control will make sure that whatever gains you have made will stay with the project in the future. Because if you don't do the control activity, you will move back to the old state. Now let's see a short description about define, measure, analyze, improve, and the control phases. Why is defining a problem necessary? Defining a problem is necessary because once you define the problem, you would know what is going wrong, where you stand, and what is your current process. All these things are done as a part of the defined phase of DMAIC. Why is measurement necessary? Because unless you do a measurement of your current performance, you would not be able to know whether you have improved the process or not. Why is analysis necessary? In the analysis stage, we analyze the data collected in measurement stage and based on the data, we try to find out how much variation is there in the process and how can we reduce it. Why do we need to improve? We need to improve because once you have analyzed the problem thoroughly, to solve the process problem, you have to improve the process. And lastly, why do we need a control phase? Once the process is improved, we need to maintain it. If we don't have control, then we will go back to the same stage in the future. And with this, we end this lecture here.